Testing is much more than automation. So our job is a lot broader. I firmly believe that. You've got to look at what the requirement is. You've got to think about the end user. And going back to what the keynote speaker was saying this morning, I should have added in there, is it going to make someone angry if they use it? Is it going to want them to make them go away and go to a competitor? But that's actually a serious thing. We're not talking about a little app that you sell for 69 pence, and if it doesn't work, some, some kid in his bedroom's not going to get it. pocket money. This is business, and you lose money. So if we're putting something out there that is not engaging with people, that's making their lives harder, and causing people to do five steps instead of two, they're not going to stick with us. Where do we need to test? We've got to think about the different areas, and I've just put a few here, but yes, you've got the front end, but you've got the back end as well. You've got, uh, you, you're looking at some browser tests. You wouldn't run every single test through the browser. You perhaps have well, some at the browser level, the rest at the back end, checking calculations. How do you split it? Where do you focus? You've devices. And the different types of testing. So a lot of what we do in terms of automating tests, and this is where the light gets shined, that's only your functional regression testing, really. Performance, load, security, where's that come into it? 